We're tracking now at least nine people are injured after the demonstration turned violent in a Toronto park this morning. It happened just before 10 a.m. this morning. Police say there was a festival being held in the park. A counter protest showed up and the two groups clashed. One person was seriously injured and taken to hospital with stab wounds. Eight others taken to hospital have non-life-threatening injuries. Police say more people are being treated at the scene for minor injuries. The festival was celebrating Eritrean culture. At first, it was just chanting whatever, which no one was really bothered for. But then once they started gathering by the gazebo in that area, then after the tents started catching on fire, they started hitting older adults. Like, they did not care for anyone's well-being. And obviously, we had people taken to hospital. It started off, like, just with well, just voices. And then later on, it got a bit aggressive. They, like, tore down the tents that was over there. They started tearing down other tents, tents down there. Um, and then, yeah, it got aggressive. And then a lot of people got hit. People were bleeding. Paramedics came. They took care of the people that got hurt. But luckily, you know, no one, like, died or anything. Now, festival attendees say the event has been held for decades without incident. Human rights groups describe Eritrea as one of the world's most repressive countries since gaining independence from Ethiopia 30 years ago. The country has had one president who has never held an election.